My name is spelled C-O-U-R-Y-N, pronounced Corinne, and please, memorize it. I've spent large amounts of time practicing with far too many people. Say it with me now, Corinne, Corinne, no, Corinne, my name, something so graciously handed to me was disrespected so often that I've spent entire school years allowing people to call me silly variations of my name. What inspired my poem is that people were constantly disrespecting my name, and although I like I continuously talked to them, they'd almost ignore the fact that they were saying my name wrong, and I realized I was getting accustomed to that, and I didn't think it was right anymore, and I just expressed that in poetry. No, my name is spelled C-O-U-R-Y-N, pronounced Corinne. I mean, is it really that hard? I'm sorry. That was out of character. Or should I say that was out of chains? I was just upset because I told you five times my name is six letters, not seven. My name is spelled C-O-U-R-Y-N, pronounced Corinne. Just memorize it. Um, I think it helps me calm down in some ways. I'm, I can get angry at grades or angry at teachers or just not able to fully take time for myself when, when trying to like, you know, do essays and homework. And so by writing poetry, it's almost a form of self-care for me. I'd hurt on the first day of school, repeating my name until it sounded foreign, until it sounded African, until it sounded original. I realized I wasn't going to correct people anymore. I called it protecting my peace. Getting a scholarship from poetry really validated my experience as a writer and reminded me that I have the control to say and create what I want and it can be relatable to people and people will understand and celebrate it. Who are you to call me sensitive or repetitive, to sell me for six letters too short? My name is spelled C-O-U-R-Y-N, pronounced Corinne, and don't make me say it again.